Hello, what's up everyone? I hope you're all doing great. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave your comment, your questions, your ideas, your suggestions. Whatever it is, uh, let's communicate, chat, and yeah. Well, I wanted to create a video with my avant-garde fashion. Um, it's kind of like uh, Rick Owens and the Miller Mister uh, Yoji Yamamoto inspired looks. Um, I do not own any Andamila Mister or Yoji Yamamoto items, although they're definitely one of my favorite designers when it comes to avant-garde fashion and style. I just haven't had the opportunity to purchase one of their pieces due to either price or not having access to a store where they're available. With Collins, I do own a few pieces and I really, really love the brand's aesthetic. I've been following Rick Collins for a very long time. I love his work. And yeah, I do have a few pieces that I'm gonna definitely showcase in this video. Uh, I do have a lot of other inspirations coming from other designers like Dries Vanotten, Martin Margiela, uh, I love Alexander McQueen, uh, Jean Paul Gaultier, all the very, you know, different avant-garde outstanding designers and a lot of these designers that i really like and been following i don't own any of their pieces but that doesn't stop me from recreating or getting inspired on what i see in their collections uh, so that's what i'm gonna show you in this video i'm gonna show you how i create my own looks I've already done a very similar video here on my channel where I show you my Celine, Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent Paris inspired looks and I've gotten very good feedback from you guys so that's why I'm recreating this one now and actually I'm gonna come up with a part two of my Celine Celeron inspired looks. So you stay tuned for that one. Also, I'm gonna link, link that video down below so you can also check it out. And yeah, I think enough of me talking and let's jump right into the video. So for my first look, I have this kimono style kind of jacket which is very Japanese and basically Japanese fashion is super avant-garde that's where everything started with the movement in avant-garde fashion and I have on a tank top from Rick Owens a tank top is definitely a key element in the avant-garde fashion and also I pair that with this drop crotch kind of shorts and I have on that sock sneaker style from Rick Owens as well next I have on this black bomber jacket from Zara which I think looks super Rick Owen style and the crop cargo trousers are also from Zara they also look very Rick Owens to me then I pair that with the Rick Owens sock leather boots mm -hmm. 
Also, when it comes to inspiration, I always look up to DJ London Thomas on Instagram. He has amazing avant-garde streetwear kind of fashion sense. So make sure to check out his page. The sleeveless shirt that I have on right here is also from Recoins. It's super comfy, great cotton, and it's so interesting the way they make it. It's like double layered, so you have this drapey effect. And also Oliver Dore, definitely very, very inspirational guy, great style. Also check him out because his page is 100. For the next look, also super Recoins inspired, I have on this puffer vest from H&M Studio and it's actually from the women's section. Uh, I think I got it like last year or something, but yeah. And the shirt is from Recoins, the shorts are also Recoins. I paired it with this uh, leggings from H&M from the women's section and the shoes are from Puma in collaboration with The Weeknd. And here's another image of the same short styled in a different way. Next, I have on an all black everything outfit. This blazer is from H&M and it has a really nice leather detail on the lapel. The cropped cargo trousers in faux leather are from Zara from the women's section. I think I got it like last year. And right here, this amazing black top is also from Rick Owens. And this image, I wanted to show you how you can also incorporate leather to your looks in a very unique and different way, which I think it's also very Rick Owens kind of look. For our next look, I have on this white sheer shirt from Palomo Spain. If you haven't heard of this brand, I really, I highly recommend you to go on their website and have a look or their Instagram page. Right here we have an Anne Demila Mister runway look. Um, I feel like white sheer tops are always very and the Miller Mister kind of style because it's very romantic and very edgy, which is 100% and the Miller Mister aesthetic. And the black trousers are from Zara from the women's collection. And the boots are the Margiela Tabby boots. And also this white shirt gives me and the Miller Mister vibes. 
but it's from a brand from Australia called Provocator. For the next look, I kept on the same trousers from the previous look and I paired that with this long coat from Zara which is in a very soft, almost kind of like sweatshirt material. Uh, I feel like these long coats always look very and the Miller Mister as well. And underneath that I have this really long sheer shirt. And it's from a Turkish brand called Umituno. Um, I got it in Berlin in a very good friend's shop. Um, here is her Instagram on the screen. She also has her shop online and you can check out what she has. And the black leather boots are from John Vervedo's. I've had them for so many years, but I still wear them a lot and love them. They have this really cool distressed kind of edge to it. Right now we have a more spring summer option. Uh, this gray blazer is from John Varvatos, but for some reason this gives me very Anne Demille Mister vibes. You know, it's got the buttons going on the collar all the way up. It's uh, deconstructed and very soft. And right here on the image we have another inspiration, which is Heider Ackerman. I love Heider Ackerman style. It's very similar to And the Miller Mister, but he uses more colors, so it's very interesting. And the waistcoat is also from that Turkish brand, Umituno. Uh, the trousers are from Forever 21. It's really nice it has these pin stripes and here another inspirational Heider Ackerman runway look and here is another way to wear these pin stripe trousers for this next look I have on this Saruel trousers from Zara I've had these trousers for a few years now um, and the jacket is like a linen jacket from H&M. It's also from a few years ago. Actually, many years ago. I would say like 2013, 2012. So yeah, it's really old, but I still love it, still wear it. And I love the design. To me, that whole look looks very... Yoji Yamamoto and I paired everything with the Derby shoes from Emporio Money. and underneath that I have this really sheer tank top in white and it's very loose and very relaxed kind of style also from H&M from a few years back Throwing on a black felt hat is always a great way to style an avant-garde look. 
like in these two runway looks from Yoji Yamamoto. And last but not least, we have on this black three-quarter length coat from Zara. Um, here's an image from Endemula Mr. Fall Winter 2019, I think. But yeah, I I think this whole look is very Endemula Mr. or Yoji Yamamoto. Here's another and the Milan Mister runway look for fall 2020. And I wanted to close the video with the master, Yoji Yamamoto. So there you have you guys. Uh, here's my Instagram. You can check me out on there. I post a lot of my fashion there. So you can also follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.